What is going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we're back on Desperado's franchise week 8 as uh, Titus Howard's going to be coming back for week 8 I hope. We're playing the Jaguars. Of course if you are newer to this series we did an entire Jaguars franchise that led into Desperado's franchise after the firing of Gene Dangus. So of course there's a lot on the line. Coach Dangus going up against his former team and as is Dennis Peoples, for the first time in his career, he will play his former team. Of course, if you know anything about Dennis Peoples, he is unbelievable. Put up pretty good numbers in his first few years with Jacksonville. Uh, the numbers did fall off a little bit in uh, year three and four without me on the team. But uh, still, pretty good nonetheless. And he's off to a hot start in Austin in 2025 in year number five for Dennis the Menace. Things are looking good. We had a good win against the Titans. We got revenge on them, 37-17. And we're rolling through with a little bit of momentum. This is a big week as Luke Townsend actually has an upgrade. What do we do for him? I want zone coverage to be higher. We play a lot of zone. So... I think it only is natural to upgrade zone coverage. He stays at an 85 overall, but zone coverage gets a plus one. But he does get an ability slot. So I guess he already had Acrobat. Acrobat? I don't even know if that was usable. One step ahead. That feels pretty good. Let's put one step ahead on him. Are any of these good? I really don't know. I have no idea. I'll never know. I don't particularly care. I'm not going to lie to you. But Luke Townsend does get upgraded. We do have some college scouting points. We'll check those out in just a minute. Let's check the news. Let's see if there are any big-time draft stories. Yes, as DBs go, Terrell Gray is as good as it gets in this year's draft. What a performance this week. But Matt Miller said it, so I don't know if we can believe any of that. Terrell Gray out of Oak State. Does look to be pretty good. Mid-first-round pick. 6'4". 207 so maybe there's something with Terrell Gray he looks like he could be pretty good and he's massive we'll look at linebackers a little bit this week we have some good ones but never hurts to get better and uh, there we go that's, that's all of our points so we're not going to do a whole ton of looking at linebackers and could this be the week we finally extend Elton Jenkins or even Alfonso Peoples maybe hmm big 69's in there as well would love extension for Big 69. That that extension's going to be important. Only 26 years old. Primary pass rusher, but offers decent block shedding at 80. Kind of surprised he's not a higher overall, honestly. We're going to hold off on that for a moment. Maybe check that out in Week 9. But we have home field advantage. We're taking on the Jags. And they're an 87 overall. They're a pretty good team. Seeing some, some uh, familiar faces over there. Hopefully we get the better of them. Let's get it. The kick is off, and we are underway here in Austin, Texas. Kirkpatrick back to return. No idea who that is. Doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. And Jordan Love is the quarterback of the Jacksonville Jaguars to this point, if you did not recall. Now you know. Quick throw, and I am just not there to make that play. Oh, you guys remember who that is? Not our tight end, I don't think. That's some random guy. Hold on. It's a Greg James. He's built like a tight end. 6'5", 219. He's no Demarcus Holmes, obviously, who's 6'6", 243, who I was talking about. But Greg James is massive. Big-time receiver to watch out for. Who's still there on the defense? Evan Groves out of Penn State. We remember him. Rasheem Garland. It's a name I remember, but we didn't draft him. Deron Payne, Christopher Galloway. Josh Allen still there, of course. Joe Schobert. Kayla Von Chason's very, very good now. CJ Henderson's a monster. Sidney Jones, Quandre Sims, who we drafted. Marcus Williams, a free safety we signed. And then Ronnie Harrison, who just is in Jacksonville in this franchise. Never moved to the Browns. Feels kind of weird to see him there, even though that was his team at the start of this season. As it's play action, pressure comes and down goes the quarterback. Jeremiah Langford was sacked number five. That ball looked like it came out at the end. That was a quick whistle. Big time third down. And that is a throw at Justin Reed, but out of reach for DJ Chark. I think he actually made the catch, but it was 
to the sideline. So it wasn't really a catchable ball, despite him actually catching it somehow. Crazy play. But we're on offense. Good series for the defense. And we'll see what we can do. Good spin moves. We got Pat Bridge rocking. Cut back to the inside. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. We should have taken the angle. He didn't have the acceleration of the juice after the cutback. Really good return still. But I'm going to be left wondering about what could have been. What if we would have scored a touchdown? What if we would have taken it to the outside instead? As we get it with Carson for a gain of a few. Devin Duvernay back on the field, by the way. He got injured in the second quarter after two touchdowns in last week's game. But here's Matthew Wayne getting the catch. Bowls over Sidney Jones, but he has help. Ronnie Harrison wraps up, but it's still a gain of 17. This offense is moving. Third and 16 after the sack. We're going to roll out here. Let's hope Sony makes a play. I mean, Dennis Peoples looks like he has a step, and he does. Peoples inside the five. Patience, precision, power. Okay, the power to make the throw, the patience to sit and wait for that to get open, and then, of course, the accuracy when the uh, precision component comes in. So we're going to throw on the run. Jesus. This is why I don't do that. Because I'll tell you for free, I can make that throw very easily. It really wouldn't even be a challenge. And this is not, oh, I'm sure you could on Sunday, pressure in your face. Listen, if I'm in a situation where I am literally not surrounded by anybody, can't see that defender at all, and all I have to do is make an easy, what is this, seven total yards probably, maybe eight with the angle, an eight-yard throw to a wide-open guy, you think I'm throwing across my body the other way? No shot. No shot. Second goal, handoff. Carson found a cutback lane and finds the end zone. Touchdown, John Carson. Big time score for the rookie. You can't believe it. Neither can I. After he averaged like two yards per carry last week. It's much better. Ah, uh, jeez. All right, I guess that's going to keep happening. The six foot five phenom, Greg James, is going to destroy everybody. That's Luke Townsend in coverage. And he played good coverage, but guess what? We're going to get bossed because the game decided it. Luke Townsend cannot cover him. He's a 75 overall receiver. Cover him. You throw outside. It's going to be open. Demetrius Miller wraps up, but Jones has the first down. It's a run up the middle. Ooh, nice shed. Heath Sapp. Nice, nice play. Over the middle, I mean, Isaiah Simmons just completely left him. It was covered, and then he ran away. That's what you want to do in man coverage. That's what they teach you. Yeah, you cover him up until the time you get bored, and then find something else to do. When he stops at the top of the route, eh, just go run away. See who else wants to get covered. Error Jones up the middle. Nobody touches him. And the Jaguars have tied things up. Let's see 90 career rushing touchdowns for Aaron Jones. That is ridiculous. Rolling out. I mean, we're going to Duvernay. We got it. Big time spin back, but Ronnie Harrison, he's too smart for that. Quick pitch. Good blocks. Carson just isn't fast enough. He doesn't have that second, third gear. He really has one gear. And it's not particularly fast. Second and three, you know what we do here? We take shots. Throw off play action. Lob it up. Devin Duvernay, it's dropped in. Yeah, I'll slide. I'll go down. I'll give myself up. Live to die another day. Second and two. CJ Henderson can't hang with Dennis Peoples. How many times would they have gone against each other in practice? How many times did Dennis People just shit on C.J. Henderson? It happens again. I'm tempted to pitch the ball here. I really am. But I'm seeing Dennis Peoples on an island against Joe Schobert. Stand over him! Dennis Peoples. 
one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, and the linebacker is Joe Schobert. That's too easy. That's too easy. What an awful matchup. I'll take that all day, 14-7. Trying to cover everybody. Didn't cover that guy. Not at all. It's a pass. Trying to cover everybody. I mean, that is just ridiculous. Who is his right tackle, by the way? And why is he six foot ten? Oh, huge hit. Demarcus Holmes laid out. But holds on. Third and four. It's a big down. Trying to cover everything. Again, we leave the flat uncovered. Trying to cover both this. And time runs out. Hey, Langford, you want to get in there for the sack? <laughs> big 69. Clarence Trent brings down Jordan Love. You got to love Big 69 bringing down the love. But Jeremiah Langford could add a sack there. He just didn't want it. And down goes Love again. Finished him once and he's back for more 69. Clarence Trent. What a monster. What a monster. And the stamina. Jordan Love to keep taking that. Unbelievable. Can I throw that? That was kind of psychotic. That was kind of psychotic to throw that. It hung up in the air for an hour, but it was uh, a poor decision to say the least. I want this sluggo to work one time. I don't think it ever will. We throw that on the run. Oh, we got it. Devin Duvernay, that ball's gonna be close to the line to gain. I think we're gonna be a little bit short. It is third and one. Let's call power O. Say John Carson's better. Got good blockers over there. Uh, over there. Elton Jenkins gonna pull. We'll run behind him. We'll run behind him. Quick throw. Carson, has he ever trucked over anybody? That's CJ Henderson, man. His big thing is he can't tackle. Quick throw. Weldon. That's a big time reach for the first down marker. Oh, and he got it? Oh, huge play. I want Dennis Peoples going deep, but if we can just isolate him, it's, it's, a, it's a double team. Turn up field. Just take the yardage. Okay. Unnecessary hit, but we'll take the five. Now, we're going to roll out opposite side and go to one of the Peoples or Troy Weldon. Rolled out opposite side. Oh, that is unforeseen. Devin Duvernay. Big time catch. Schmidt starting 10 of 12 for 152 and a touchdown. Things are going well. No! It was wide open until it wasn't. It was led right into another receiver. Hold on, what if I call this play again? We would need man coverage, and then I would make the hitch a drag or something and clear out that side of the field, and maybe Troy Weldon would get wide open if it's the same coverage. Just go underneath. Ah, great throw. Oh, CJ Henderson in the zone. I mean, I'm down for a slot fade here. If this is man coverage, we're cooked. It's not. I'm going to try to fit it in. Oh, that hung up in the air. Deserved interception. Deserved interception. Obviously, I want back corner of the end zone, and that's not where the ball was. It should be at least 17-10 right now. My thought process with the slot fade was as soon as I saw that CJ Henderson wasn't in man coverage, okay, we're going to have a, a tight window to throw the football into, but it's not going to be man covered, so it's a safety coming over, and it's another corner coming over, probably. It was some type of zone coverage, and uh, the ball just floated. The ball just floated, and that isn't the game. The game that I've been, you know, working to perfection, you could say, is the rollout, exploit the different zone coverages, force someone to be where they don't want to be, and extend the play and improvise, that's been working really, really well. When I get out of that, that's when we have problems. 
but that's open. Troy Weldon. We'll target CJ Anderson. Dude sucks. Carson. That's a good run. Seven rushes for 35 yards. Not too bad of a game for him so far. Hasn't had the most touches, but this is a vertical offense. It's a vertical offense. Second and three. What do we do on second and three? You already know. You already know. I, I kept backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Take a sack. That's what we do. You already know we're going to take a sack there. I threw the ball. He doesn't throw it. What do I have to do for a faster release? It's probably some like magic Yu-Gi-Oh perk to get it to happen. Underneath. Dennis Peoples. Beautiful stuff. Oh, and Peoples has double me now. We have another slot fade. I will throw the ball. I will throw the ball in the slot fade 100% of the time. Just kidding. We get it to Weldon, though. Lost a yard. Oh, they're both in the zone? I can't be intercepted. And Peoples will catch the ball if it's single coverage. Oh, he's got his whole team on him. That's wide open. Can I get it there? Can I get it there? Devin Duvernay! Came back to the football, turned up field. Shade to Jacoby Jones in the Super Bowl. Man, I wish that Matt Schmidt had a stronger arm. I really do. I really wish he had a stronger arm. It's so weak, I feel. Quick throw, Devin Duvernay! Oh, he dropped it? Oh, that's weird. People's out of the zone now. I guess they didn't target him enough. That's open. Alfonso P... How is that not a touchdown? How is that not a touchdown? I'll never know. CJ Henderson, corner route. Trying to cover De Dennis Peoples. Oh, there's pressure. Dude, Josh Allen is so fast off the edge. Once they shed and nobody's open, the play's over. The play's over. Man, I got too cute. I could have scored a touchdown. Ah, you know what? No. I had open options. Duvernay dropped the ball on the one. Alfonso Peoples stepped out of the end zone while he was wide open. It would have been a touchdown. And then third down, Josh Allen insta-shed off the, by the right tackle, Titus Howard, who's coming back and still sucks, apparently. What am I going to do there? That's fine. That's fine. We'll take, we'll take three. Holloman. Oh, what an individual effort to bring down Aaron Jones. Real deal, Jameel. Sap, just dive at him. Oh, we got him. We got him. Love couldn't throw the screen quickly enough. Heath, Sap. Big sack. We're in man coverage. Sending a man blitz on third and long seems like a bad decision. Until you realize he has to get the football out quickly. Cover better. Cover better. Cover better. No, any run man blitzes on third and long. I don't always. In theory, doing it every once in a while would throw the defense or throw the offense off. Nothing does. If the CPU wants to get the first down, they're gonna get the first down. Luke Townsend interception. Is that one step ahead? Oh, he's unbelievable. Third interception of the year and the backflip. He had two interceptions in the last week. Right up the middle. Carson truck somebody one time. Play action. It's a boot. I want to throw this down the field. I want a stronger arm. It's cover two. That's where the weakness of a cover two is. Is it just waited too long? Oh, we're running. Come back and catch it. Alfonso Peoples, big time catch. Good run. Carson, truck, it's a corner. It's Sidney Jones. Truck threw him. No, oh, good lob. That's Caleb on chase on in coverage, by the way, against Dennis Peoples, and he just forced a pass breakup. Just don't do that. You don't do that. I, I wanted Peoples quickly. We'll go Duvernay. He dropped it again. 
<sighs> Devin Duvernay, you are absolutely killing me today. You're absolutely killing me. This will punt. Best punter on YouTube. You guys haven't seen one of these in a while. Because my offense has been so good. Or I throw an interception. And of course, that glitch still exists where you switch. Guys, fumble! Big play, Darnay! Off the rookie. That's Holiday who forced it out, I think. But you guys don't see me punt that often. Because I've been throwing interceptions. Not this time. Not this time. I punt. I punt, baby. I can't score. I can't move the football. I punt. Holiday, the rookie. Big time hit. Big time play. We get the touchdown. We uh, couldn't get on offense. 24 to 10. Oh, didn't hold the cutback. That's completely on me. Oh, Aaron Jones is disgusting. Uh, that's on me, though. I was on Alexander, Earl Alexander. And uh, just didn't hold the cutback. Going, to, oh, man. Orlando Jones just got absolutely cooked. Oh, that's why. Justin Reed bumps right into him. That's what you want to do in, in cover four as one of the deep zones. You just want to shimmy your way over to the side. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Second and nine. Rolling out. Triple coverage. Peoples out of step and he dropped it. Dude, do we have Butterfingers today? Do we have Butterfingers? Peoples just beat triple coverage, essentially. And he drops it. Inside lead. Not a lot of space. The reason I had to throw that ball so quickly, Josh Allen insta-shed off the edge. And now I have to punt. Ah! <sighs> Big time play and a punt. Fumble again. Okay. Quick throw. Ooh, nice play. Jones with the pass breakup. After kind of allowing a touchdown before, despite it being completely Justin Reed's fault. Third and two. Oh, what a play. Sap brings down Aaron Jones. And if you're the Jags, I think you have to go for this. But from the 44. They're going to punt the football. Yeah, there's seven minutes to play. You got three timeouts, but this is pretty good field positioning. It's fourth and five. It's not really that bad. I don't know. Like, congrats. You got like 20 or 30 yards of field positioning. It's really not particularly good. Quick bubble screen to Duvernay. Whew. Luckily, Sidney Jones is back there for the Jaguars. Did not expect for Bakhtiari to pick up that block on Joe Schobert. That's why I juked in advance. I would have probably not done that. But I imagine we're just going to dink it down to Carson here on a block and release. We'll take the easy first. I didn't like the timing of that at all, but I like the result. Oh, people's wide open. <sighs> if you could have just spun. Did he get the first down anyway? He finds a way. Carson, that's a nice little run. Still can't break a tackle. I don't know if I've ever seen it happen. I really don't. Are we going to have a really good matchup here with Peoples? We might. We might. Oh, just backed up right into a sack. Thankfully, nothing was open either. So it would have been a bad play either way. <laughs> might as well get it over with quickly, right? They sent a ton. They sent a ton. And now it's third and 23. Roll out. Peoples went out of bounds. He's ineligible. We can't throw it to Peoples. So I threw an interception instead. God. Oh, I'm going to scream. This game is so stupid sometimes. You just suck. I, listen, I don't. I, I really don't care. Uh, it's it's Madden, and I, I don't care about Madden. I'm going to be honest. Devin, or Dennis Peoples on... Basically a wheel route, right? Steps out of bounds. 
He's ineligible. He's running out of bounds the entire play. What the fuck is that? Actually, what is that? Going deep. Take it back, Luke. Sick animation. Quick throw. Why are you giving up position? You know what? That's my bad. That's textbook defensive back play. Here's what you want to do. You're in man coverage, right? However, Orlando Jones had his eyes on the quarterback. And he sees the ball in the air right there. Boom. Knows the ball's in the air. Has inside leverage pretty much, right? And says, you know what? Nah, I'm going to turn my body completely because he locked into an animation because it's Madden 20 or 21. Well, I don't care enough to even know what game this is. Do you understand that? I don't. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Uh, I would bet almost anything they tie it up. But there's a really good amount of time left to mount a drive to win it. Oh, wow. Thrown away on third and four. It's now fourth and four from the eight. I will not call a man blitz. I won't do it. I won't do it. Are you happy? Oh my god. I would have bet anything. It was a guaranteed touchdown. I just had a safety. Big time interception for the rookie, Demetrius Miller. So caught that. Thought about coming out of the end zone. The ball never leaves the end zone, by the way. Which... By rule, not a safety. Not a safety. Ball never left the end zone. So I tried to turn there, and his, his feet carry up the field for no reason. That's fun. Uh, it's not a safety. Just isn't one. Yet, it's a safety. In-game. Uh, uh, you're so bad. Dude. Find me something I care about less than my skill on Madden. I, I promise you it's going to be super tough. Maybe hockey? I really don't care about hockey. Nah, I, I still would probably watch playoff hockey over my caring about my skill on Madden. All right, it's going to be roughing the passer. Yeah, give him 15. Yep, roughing the passer. There it is. Fumble! Recovered by Orlando Jones. Oh, and he's running. Pool in pursuit. Won't catch him. James in pursuit. Also won't catch him. Dagger. Orlando Jones makes up for his mistake earlier. He makes up for it. This is a super dumb play call. Brian Justice. What a run. And on that play, my backup guard did something. I don't know what he did. Um, he tore something. Eh, fuck him. Whatever. Wide open. They've done that consistently. I don't care. Might as well be in man coverage, so at least everybody's open instead of just one guy randomly at the end of the play. No way that's a pass breakup. We get mossed every time on that play. They're calling timeouts? Why? There's two seconds left. You're down by two scores. What are you going to do in 11... Or to score 11 in two seconds? Game over. Get off the field. Go home. Go back to Jacksonville. All right. Very interesting game. Threw two picks this game. Only one touchdown. That's kind of like my stat line every game. John Carson. Average five per carry. 71 yards. Broke three tackles. I didn't see him. DJ Chark was fantastic. Dennis Peoples got involved too. But Devin Duvernay was the big time player. Even though Peoples had the sole receiving touchdown. Some other guys got involved. But nothing too crazy. And then big time tackles for loss for Heath Sapp. Also had a sack. Clarence Trent, though, two sacks. Jeremiah Langford with a sack. And then interceptions for Darnay Holmes, Luke Townsend, and Demetrius Miller, who also had a safety, which is fun. Four fumbles for Holiday and Jones, the two Orlandos. And Orlando Jones, of course, with the fumble recovery and touchdown to seal the game. 
Upgrade points. Matthew Schmidt, I'd love for you to have a stronger arm. The 92 feels like 40, I swear, sometimes. Let me get Improviser. I've been doing that a lot to get throw under pressure and throw on the run. Since I like to do that. Throw power plus one. Thank you. Break sack up by two as well. But 93 throw power. Hopefully that plays a lot better than 92. It won't. What about for Jameel Holloman? I use him a lot. And he feels so slow out there. I don't really know. So I'm just going to do Fuel General. It's a scheme fit. Should take a lot. So we get uh, Block Shedding up by one. Man Coverage two. Pursuit Tackling go up. That's cool. And then John Carson, who's been playing a lot. He has 85 trucking. Doesn't truck over anybody. Let's get that trucking up. Let's get that trucking up. Give me a plus three. Okay. Didn't even happen at all. But that is going to be it for the episode. Got a little bit salty in there. I don't know why. It is what it is. Uh, that'll happen. Nobody's perfect. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already to see me complain again, I guess. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.